Hi, I'm Will Rice from the Rio Texas Media Center and PastorWill.net. Today I'm going to show you how to add photos to your Squarespace website. Photos are essential on a modern website. They say a picture's worth a thousand words and that is certainly true on the modern web. Now with Squarespace there are a ton of ways to add and use photos on your site. You can put them in uh, banners, you can have galleries and rotating galleries and thumbnail images, but today we're going to go pretty simple. This is just how to add a standard photo to a page on your uh, website, maybe to illustrate a page as part of an article or something like that. So here we go. Uh, I'm here. Uh, let me go back to the the very home page of your uh, Squarespace uh, admin page. Uh, I'm going to go to pages and I'm going to pick this I'm new page right here. This is just a demo website that I use to uh, help uh, people build websites. This is actually in the Bedford template, uh, but these actions will work pretty much on any Squarespace template. All right, so here's my page, and let's say that I want to add a photo right up here at the top. I need to edit my page, and then uh, I have a couple of ways to get at this. One is through grabbing the handlebar. The other is just going over here to add a block. Let's go there. We're going to add a block, and we want to add an image. It's going to bring up this dialog box right here. You can move it around if you want to. And now you have the option to either click in here to choose a file, or uh, if you want to make it super simple, you can drag the file right over there. Now let me just take a moment to talk about what kind of images you want to put up there. Now, not everyone has blazing fast internet. So the size of your pictures is going to affect uh, the speed at which they download, especially on slower internet connections. So you want to make sure that you start out with an image that isn't just huge. You don't want megabytes, you want kilobytes. Uh, you can look right here in the description of this image is about 53 kilobytes. That's pretty small. I like to limit the images that I put on my page to about 150 uh, kilobytes. Now, Squarespace does a little bit of that work for you in optimizing those photos, but it's still a good idea to start with an image that isn't just huge. If you need help resizing that, you can do that if you have access in Adobe Photoshop. Uh, the free uh, application called GIMP can also do that. Uh, there's also some tools uh, built into the operating systems on most computers, and there's also websites that will help you with that for absolutely free. But I have an image right here. It's 117 uh, kilobytes. It's a nice Christmassy image, and I'm just going to take that, and I'm going to drag that over. All right, there it is. Now, I have some options here. I actually can edit it right from within the Squarespace if I wanted that picture cropped or if I wanted to resize it, if it was really huge, I could also do that here and, and click Save. But once I have that set and that is in the window, I'm going to just go ahead and hit Apply. Now, there's my image. I'm done, right? Well, you may want to put it somewhere else. So let me show you those options. You can uh, drag it. Just click and drag anywhere on the page. I'm going to put it right here at the top, if that's where I want it. But also, say that I wanted it kind of over here as part of the text. I have two options for that. One is I can drag it and hold it until this gray box appears. See that gray box? If I let go of it there, it's going to be in line with the text. Now, if I hover over it, I'll see these arrows come up, and I can make it smaller or I can make it bigger. So that's one option to put it in line with the text. I can then uh, grab it if I want to and I can put it back where it was. Uh, I can also add it to a column. I can do this and now when I go over to the side you can see that that line has appeared and that's going to create an actual column that will continue down the page. But once again I can drag that uh, back and forth to get that photo exactly the size that I want it. I click save and uh, there we go. Let's run through that one more time uh, using a slightly different method. Instead of hitting that uh, plus button, now I'm actually going to just actually hit this handlebar right here. Same thing comes up. I'm going to click image. Now another option too, if I don't want to drag, I can also uh, click on that arrow and it'll open up my file uh, manager on my computer and I can uh, then click through and find uh, any images that I want to and uh, upload those same way. Click apply, and then once again, once I have this image uploaded, I can drag it to wherever I want. If you want to add a caption to your image, uh, you can do that just by clicking down here. And under that caption, you have uh, the option of some basic HTML things. You can make it bold or italics. You can even uh, make a link. 
that's it. That's how easy it is to uh, add a photo to your Squarespace website.